All right, let's take a look at two commonly used operations in ChemCAD, the swap unit operation and the insert unit operation. Uh, what I've got here is a flow sheet that I'd like to swap this fired heater for a regular heat exchanger symbol and unit operation. So I'm going to give myself a little more room to work by pinning the Explorer there and zooming to fit, give me a little more space here. What I'd like to do is swap this unit operation. So if I right click that unit operation, we'll see we've got the option to swap that unit. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And it's going to tell me that I need to pick one from the palette. And I'll say yes. And then I scan over here to the palette itself, find the heat exchanger which I'd like select that, place it on the flow sheet, and then I do a little bit of cleanup just to get those lines adjusted, and I've swapped the unit operation. So very quick, simple procedure. Uh, all your streams data is still intact and on the in and out, allowing me then to specify that unit operation and move forward. So the next thing I'd like to do is actually insert a unit operation. So let's say I'd actually like that fired heater back. So what I'm going to do is right click the stream this time and I want to insert a unit. I get the option to select OK and I go find the fired heater, place it on the flow sheet, again do a little bit of cleanup any resizing, etc., and then specify that unit. Now one thing you will notice is that ChemCAD automatically numbers the newly added stream here. And if you want to change the order of the streams, that's certainly possible and the subject of uh, another demonstration video. But uh, definitely possible to change those stream numbers once they've been added. So. That's the insert unit operation and swap unit operation.